Good morning. It's Monday, November 22nd. I'm Suzanne Watley, and you're listening to the LA Report from KPCC and LAist.com. Here's your morning news. Kaiser Permanente is now offering COVID-19 boosters to all its adult members who were previously vaccinated. KPCC health reporter Jackie Fortier says the healthcare giant serves 9 million members throughout California. Weeks before federal health agencies approved boosters for everyone, California was one of the first states to broaden access for all adults. State health officials said vaccine providers could give boosters to any adult who wanted one as long as at least six months had passed since their second dose of a Pfizer or Moderna vaccine or two months since the J&J shot. But Kaiser didn't comply and only offered the boosters to people who claimed to be high risk or over 65 years old. Now that federal health officials have widened boosters access to all adults, Kaiser will follow suit. Covering health, I'm Jackie Fortier. Firefighters contained a 16-acre wildfire in Riverside yesterday. Some residents and livestock were evacuated while crews used two helicopters, two air tankers, and three bulldozers to get the fire under control. Riverside Fire Department tweets structures were threatened but not damaged. They also believe an off-road vehicle crash may have started the fire. Electricity was shut off to as many as 1,800 SoCal Edison customers yesterday afternoon due to the wildfire risk brought on by powerful winds. Most of those customers were in Ventura County, and this morning the utility says that more than 150 customers are still without power. KPCC's Sharon McNary has more. A gauge along the Magic Mountain Truck Trail above the Santa Clarita Valley clocked wind speeds up to 69 miles an hour. The San Gabriel Mountains were getting 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. By noon, Southern California Edison had cut power to several thousand of its customers as a fire prevention measure. That's because some of our most destructive recent fires have been from wind-damaged power lines and equipment. Parts of Moore Park, Santa Paula, Browns Canyon north of Chatsworth, Lytle Creek in San Bernardino County, and the community of Lakeview near Hemet were some of the areas whose power was cut. And once your power is off, the utility needs to wait for the winds to subside and the lines to be inspected before they can turn it back on. I'm Sharon McNary. The supply chain crisis is hitting mom-and-pop restaurants hard. KPCC's Josie Wong says the eateries that depend on imported goods have extra headaches. In Koreatown, some restaurants report having to spend 30 to 50 percent more on supplies and ingredients. They depend on imports that are more expensive than before, when they're even in supply, like barley tea and corbina, a fish popular for pan frying. While a McDonald's has the economies of scale to weather the supply crisis, some mom and pops have to raise prices to cover their costs. The frustrating thing is that some of the very items they need may be gathering dust in a shipping container just tens of miles away, awaiting pickup at the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. Beach. That's KPCC's Josie Wong. While many restaurants are raising their prices to survive, many are still hesitant to do so. Happening today, Los Angeles City Council President Nuri Martinez is holding a drive through pantry for families in need. 600 turkeys and grocery boxes are being given out at her Sun Valley District office starting at 9 a.m., and they will be given out on a first-come, first-served basis. The Sun Valley District office is located at 9300 Laurel Canyon Boulevard. These gusty Santa Ana winds will continue today, mostly in the counties of Los Angeles and Ventura. You'll see winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour in the foothills and a few inland valleys with relative humidity inland of 10 to 20 percent. Cooler and cloudier conditions are expected tonight and tomorrow. Another Santa Ana wind event is likely late Wednesday through Friday with additional fire weather concerns. Thank you for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Suzanne Watley. Join us again next time. Meantime, read more news at LAist.com and listen live at kpcc.org.